up for sale 1956 Chevy 210. I'm gonna walk around it, tell you about the car, fire it up, and then drive it. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, a 56 210 two door. Finished in factory correct ivory and black with matching interior. Those are the original colors for the car. Uh, factory V8 car upgraded to a 350 and a 350 trans. And as always, go around it, tell you everything I do know about it, point out anything I do see, fire it up, and then drive it. Uh, so, of course, we'll start her in the front. On the uh, chrome, we'll start on this side here, right on the bumper. You see that? Super nice condition. Uh, just some toweling marks, it looks like. No pitting, which is always a positive, of course. And the same goes for uh, your grill and whatnot there. Bezels, same deal. This is nice. Uh, I mean, you see some handprints from opening and closing the hood, but nothing there. Uh, it's about 25-year-old restoration, I would say. So there are, you know, some blemishes that have been uh, touched up on the car. But it was a restoration on a solid, solid car. It looks to have all original sheet metal. Uh, floors look to be all original, which is, of course, a fantastic thing. No rust in the, the floor braces, body mounts, frame supports, none of that stuff has any, any rust, which is uh, super, super positive. Uh, so, of course being that case it all lines up very nicely all the way down that you see fenders to doors hood all that good stuff uh, so let's go ahead we'll pop the hood here and uh, show you the engine it's got a newer to the car aluminum radiator here's your 350 Edelbrock aluminum intake and Edelbrock carburetor uh, it's got dual exhaust it comes out the back with cherry bomb muffler so it sounds pretty nice uh, there's your body tag showing the correct codes for the ivory and onyx black with the matching interior which it has factory interior always nice to see uh, i got some manual some booklets stuff like that always good to have jack a tire iron um i have a stack of receipts for the car for like new parts for example you know steering box was rebuilt stuff like that um firewall nice and original there um Better looking fan in there probably cools differently. Um, just good stuff. And the underhood, nice condition as well. Um, so let's mosey on down the driver's side of the car. Here's a little blemish, for example. Um, not this most recent owner, but the owner before. I have receipts dating back to 96. So he might have been a 25 year owner of the car. Um, just nice to know that there's long time ownership on the car, not just handed every couple of years on and on. Um, I love the wheel combination with the black steely. Of course, you're going to get some common blemishes here from use. I mean, still, you know, you see nice reflection in the paint. For example, windshield, probably original to the car. You see a couple... Uh, marks on it in this section, but I mean you easily see through it and the top of the car you see a little mark there But other than some dust Looks nice nice finish to the uh, trim which is nice all the way around very clean no pitting on this uh, Show you more of the door here nice finish down here not a lot of door chips that is nice. No bubbles on the lower. Very good thing to see. So let's go ahead. We'll pop it in. I did say it was a V8 car because the uh, V is, of course, the first digit or letter on the VIN. There's your VIN tag never removed from the car. Nice weather stripping. Nice corners of the doors here. I know this is the top, but still nice to see. And the metal all the way down there. You got that nice seam, nice roll there with the uh, ripples in the factory metal. Nice door panel again. Like I said, the interior is probably updated more recent to the car. So it looks very nice. Doesn't show too much use. Uh, no rips on the seats. It's got front seat belts. Carpet's new. Uh, of course, love the factory correct steering wheel with the column shifter. Probably an automatic from the factory. More than likely. Nice dash. I mean, you see a couple marks in the paint up there, but of course, there's, it's not a pad, so there's no cracks in it, but the paint's nice all the way around here. 
factory gauges a couple added gauges down there always nice to see you know you want to know your your stuff as you're going back in the day it was just simple stuff working dome light and a nice headliner here no rips in it no rips on it so you can see how clean it is in there Cool, cool, cool. Okay. It kind of showed you this already here. Just to highlight, there are no bubbles down there. Good thing. A couple minor blems there. You see a couple right on that lip there. Uh, rear bumper. Probably newer than the front bumper. Sweet condition. Looks really nice. Uh, a little bit of pitting on those. Those probably original to the car. Of course, 56 only for where you fill in the gas. You see a couple little blemishes here on the paint. Fun fact, my dad's been in the car business for a very long time. And I'll, I'll point anything out as I'm talking. And uh, many, this is going back many, many years ago. He was at an auction and uh, he bought a 56. And he told all the people that if they could find where you put the gas in, that he would give them the car. And he had like 20, you know, young guys, they don't know anything. Uh, 20, 30 young guys all around the car looking, 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 and they couldn't find it. <laughs> I love when he tells that story. This is right key. Oh, did I grab the wrong key? I might have grabbed the wrong key off my desk. No, 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 I'm wrong. I turned it the wrong way. I'm an idiot. Um, tire iron, two tire irons actually, for where you would put the spare in jack. Um, the booklets, which are just cool to have. Nice in there. Probably where the jacking instructions were, you can see the outline. Uh, nice finish in there as well. Let me show you this here. The stack of receipts and paperwork for the car. Just just miscellaneous parts over time. I guess as things, you know, wore or were replaced or wanted to be replaced, just bottom, bottom, bottom. Didn't didn't hesitate. A lot of stuff and a lot of smaller receipts in there. And I know 95. So long time owner that Robert L. Johnson there, or Robert L. Johnson 15, so um he is the one that's uh, probably 25 year, 26 years owner. Uh, we'll keep going though. I will close the trunk. No bubbles. Always, always nice to see. right there a couple other little marks there no bubbles you see again here a couple you know miscellaneous marks on the door couple on the door edge you know common to using and enjoying the car but it is finished in nice colors black and white always a good looking combination Same deal here for this door. You see how nice the metal is in there all the way up. Definitely do our weather stripping as well. We'll be up for sale later today on my website, nextgenclassiccars.com and eBay. Both links will be in the description if you want to check it out. It's even got the little straps to help you get in and get out pretty cool back seat looks like it's never even been sat in and i know over here another little guy right there um like i said i noticed it after the fact i guess when i'm going down on the paint you know i miss some things there's a little a little crack in this window on that side but there's no other cracks i just wanted to make sure i got that okay 
56, 210, two-door, factory colors, 350 engine, 350 trans. Little touch up right there. And then just a couple other miscellaneous little marks there. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching and uh, we will fire it up. heard it. It also has a gear drive that I forgot to mention earlier.